Hey everyone, today's topic, stop collecting labels. There are tons of labels out there nowadays that are widely used that people want to acquire because some of them are used as status symbols and they make people feel good should they, in their mind, fall under said label. can give a few examples here to convey the point. Some of them are alpha male or the latest sigma male. And then for women you have, what is it, the boss babe one and yeah there's a bunch of ridiculous labels out there that people are throwing around willy-nilly and a lot of this has to do with people's identities and wanting to feel validated like what they're doing matters or more so like they matter but the problem here is if you're constantly trying to chase labels to fall underneath their little definitions you're doing something that's incredibly disempowering and unhelpful. And what is that? It's being defined by other people. Because if you're trying to chase that whole alpha or sigma male mentality, or for the ladies, trying to be a boss babe, you're immediately living by the definition of other people. You're letting them and their terms dictate what you do in life. And it's just really stupid. I mean, I remember back in university, I had the pleasure of having an awesome class that was under actually the guy who created Kinko's, Paul Orfila, and he shared a lot of wisdom with us, and it was a really enjoyable experience. And it all culminated with this dinner. It was more like a party, really, <laughs> like a dinner party thing that we all went to. It took the, the place of our final test, so there wasn't actually like a written exam in his class. It was just you show up to that dinner, you have a good time, you pass the course. And it was a, it was really enjoyable. But I remember at his dinner, there were tables everywhere, and at every table was an important figure, an important person in Paul Orfila's life. So all the students got to sit with someone who was an impactful business person, and we all got to basically pick the mind of that business person. And I had the pleasure of sitting at the table with a gentleman whose name I cannot remember, unfortunately, but he shared a piece of wisdom that has stuck with me to this day. He said, be self-defined. He said, go through life and do not let other people define you. Don't even live according to the definitions of others. He said, define yourself for you because if you let other people define you, you're immediately basically not living the way that you want to anymore. You're living according to the terms of others. And that is disempowering and pointless when life is so freaking short that your goal should be to live it according to your own truth, according to what speaks to you, because you don't know if you're only going to get like 40 years to go at this or maybe 80, maybe 90 if you're really lucky. Well, I don't know if that'd be considered lucky depending on your quality of life at 90. But yeah, I mean, life is so short. Why are you going to spend your time living according to other people's rules? So I really love how he shared that because, yeah, I've remembered it to this day. And it's something that has driven a lot of my behavior because I don't want other people to define me. I don't want to live according to the rules of others. That's why I don't care if people consider me alpha, beta, sigma, whatever the crap. I don't care because those terms to me mean nothing and I'm not going to try to live according to them either. It's stupid. I would rather live the way that I want to, the way that I have defined or chosen for myself. So this is why I believe it's so important to not give two shites about all these stupid labels that exist in society nowadays. It's so easy to fall victim to that mentality of wanting to collect as many of them as possible to gain that external validation from other people or to go out with your bros and they'd be like dude you're such an alpha or for the ladies to go out with her friends and then yeah them say yes queen <laughs> can't even say that with a straight face but yeah it's just it's all stupid guys like at the end of the day please make sure you're staying true to yourself you're living in the ways that you desire do not get caught up in these stupid label games that society plays. It's just, it's really dumb to sacrifice your own truth in order to be accepted by others. I couldn't give two craps if like, if the entire world didn't like me provided they weren't violent and wanting to kill me over it, I wouldn't care. <laughs> like, I wouldn't give two shites if the entire world did not like me if it meant that I was staying true to myself and doing a living life in the way I want to. And obviously that would never happen because 
that's not the kind of person I am. So me living my truth does not mean people, well, the entire world would end up hating. There will always be people who dislike you no matter what you do. And actually, the better you make yourself, you'll probably even invite more haters just because it's a natural result, result of improving yourself. It's like the higher you go up, the more people are going to look at you and be like, I don't like you because you stand for things that I wish I had but I don't because I don't want to put in the work so you remind me of all the insecurities and things I haven't worked on yeah so getting kind of sidetracked here but my whole point is do not get caught up in this stupid label game and chasing external validation and attention from other people and feeling good about yourself because other people like you and approve of you it's good for people to respect you but you shouldn't change the way you live your life to try to earn that you'll find that quite quite often interestingly enough the more that you don't care what others think of you and the more you stay true to yourself the more you'll actually be respected by others it's a really funny phenomenon but it makes sense when you think about it because so few people have that confidence and courage to just remain true to themselves so many people are pseudo people pleasers they want to be accepted and liked by others so they don't speak their truth they don't live their truth because sometimes it would mean they're not going to get liked and accepted by others and that to them is too great a risk so they just play that social chameleon role their entire lives so whenever there's someone out there who doesn't play that game because they don't see a point in it all those pseudo people please there's a look at that person they're like holy crap i respect my wish i had the courage to live the way they do so there you go yeah just don't all victim to all these stupid labels it doesn't matter at all just stay true to yourself yeah be self-defined take the advice of that gentleman whose name i can't remember i really wish i did but oh well i don't she's one of those nameless people who dropped a, an incredible bucket of wisdom on my head and then left my life and i have no idea who he is but it was great that i had the pleasure of meeting that gentleman for him to instill that knowledge within him within me so yeah there you go guys live your life being self-defined but yeah that's all i have for you i truly hope you enjoyed this video and if you like content like this be sure to subscribe for more otherwise i will see you guys in the next video arrivederci